Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to another Bryce is Right. Hopefully, everybody's having a great freaking weekend so far, and I hope you're all ready for that solar eclipse. We're about to check that all out. Hopefully, y'all got some style to go with it. Just don't get blind, y'all. Be safe out there. And of course, I know y'all, y'all already know I got a wild one for y'all today. We're opening up Pandora's box. I've dug down into a deep, dusty corner, found some creepy ones for y'all today, so get ready. Um, other than that, y'all know what to do. Go and smash that like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss out on any future content. And leave your thoughts down in the comments below. Let us know what's up. Big shout out to Reaper Apparel Co. They uh, sent me some shirts and uh, amazing designs, great creativity. The fits perfect and super freaking comfortable. So uh, definitely check them out. I'll put the link in the bio. Uh, it's worth it, y'all. Definitely worth it. All right, y'all know what time it is. Let's go and hop right in, y'all. Let's get it. Ed y no se movía. Tampoco parpadeaba. Why has it got that cat eye shape? It's a, that damn reptilian, man. ¿Qué rayos será eso? Captain Insano shows no mercy. Hi, my name is Peter Kane. I'm president of the Mermaid Society and Mermaid Foundation. That's now, I have looked at this footage and so have some colleagues of mine from some major universities. Major. And there's a lot of stuff out here with mermaids that isn't real. And this footage here, right here, you're actually going to see a real mermaid in the wild. It's so clear that this is real. Now, Cornelis looked at this, major universities, major. Here we go. That oh, wow. is a real mermaid. You can oh. tell by the shape of the tail. Did y'all see that? Nah. Oh, no, don't tell me. Oh, gosh. city for me y'all had a bad experience at a carnival before mm. hey be safe on them carnival rides y'all they ain't nothing to play with what the I don't know what this is. Mm. What? Ooh. What? Is that the moon? What was that? Moon discharge. You guys. What? I got that. I got that. Yeah, it looks like Thor freaking summoned the Bifrost or some lightning, one of the two. What was that? that is not normal. And it's like green colored. That's, that's cool. 
Uh oh. Government is investigating Florida fish and wildlife. They are all drunk. That's that, all that stuff seeping into the water. It's infecting them. That's what the gas stations and bars do to us. So they say they think they found a mermaid just in this brush over here. Oh wow, what was that? Kinda hard to tell what that was. Yo, I don't know what's going on, but look, it's just a sidewalk full of birds. Hey, you guys are watching Bird Up. Ah! They're not even moving. Some are alive. That one just flew up to the window, but he's not even moving. But there's just a sidewalk full of dead freaking birds. What? Oh no. Maybe they're fake birds. I don't know what's going on, but I don't know. I'm about to get the hell out of here. Yeah, some of y'all might have seen this before, but <laughs> this lady's about to glitch, straight up freeze. Look at her. She done pause. She won't move. Watch your eyes. They will start flickering like almost like a black brown. <laughs> See, something is wrong with you. Yeah. What was that? Just malfunction. Talk about brain freeze. Yeah, uh, SDO was talking about the earthquake the other day in Manhattan, right whenever we, we went live. And uh, there's a couple videos of people talking about the earthquake. So I hope everybody's safe. Earthquake! Earthquake! Thanks for giving us the heads up too, man. Crazy. I've never felt an earthquake before. I've only had to deal with tornadoes. And those are no joke either. Oh, poor dog. Or cat. crazy there's that much of like a I mean, it sounds like a spaceships you know taking off Okay, people, check this out. So yesterday, I was sitting on the bottom of this mountain right here, and it sounded like a door shut, or like um, like have you ever heard an aluminum industrial door just bong, like bonging? It rings after it shuts, and it scared me because I was just sitting right here. But if you look up, let me see if I can zoom in. I can't zoom in, but that's a door right there. I'm thinking that's a door, man. Okay, I'm sure everybody's heard about these videos where people say that there's 
doors in the rocks or in the mountains that the giants, the trolls go to. I don't know, man. They're, I'm real skeptical about these. I mean, until you show me that door opening up. I mean, I've seen it in a couple videos. But... but these are, are different, you know? Let me know what y'all think down in the comments or what y'all have to say about it. Now, I'm sure you've seen all these videos where they find the doors on the side of the mountain. <laughs> That's what I said. But I swear to God... I heard something shut. When I looked up, I was looking at that. And I'm looking at it, and it looks like a door to me. So my only inclination is to climb back up there and check it out. Hmm. Let's do it. Oh, that's the dumbest thing ever. Yeah, a while back, like, everybody on TikTok hey, left to go do it. Hey, bang up, bang up, bang up. Bang up. Dang, that looks scary. Bang, bang that's a big cargo bang, shit. Damn. Leave the world behind. Back at it. Come on, boy. What is your way on? Run faster than that. Back it up, Terry. Back up. Put in reverse, Terry. Shit. Oh. <laughs> ah. Terry done put in reverse. How do you get that car all the way up there, man? Dang, the fireman barely caught himself, too. Oh my gosh. That almost got that fireman. Did y'all see that? Oh, I'm about to put another slow mo in here. Mmm, that was crazy. Glad he's okay. He's got heart. Okay. Ooh. Told y'all, these ain't no joke today. I got a missile shot out of there. <laughs> it missed by inches. Not today. Not today, Satan. Not today. Not today, Satan. You're messing around with my little sister's camera. It's weird. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm just gonna show it to you. Just, okay. <laughs> Let's say, how does she watch all this? Oh, what's about to happen? Hmm. What, what? Is she possessed? There's too many dolls. That's what it is. Get out of there. That's the smart thing to do. Dang. I guess if you blink, you'll miss it. Oh, hell no. Not in the daughter's room. Mm -mm. I know it's visible in like Daddy? 10 states or something. Da what? I can't see. I can't. I can't see anything. Stop playing. What? He's corny. No, He's so I'm not corny. Joking. What are you talking about? I can't see anything. You, to you told me it was over. Yeah, but I didn't mean it was over so you could turn. Keep your glasses on. Dude, are you kidding me? <laughs> First off, he would stop filming if something really bad was going on. If that's his kid, his brother, he would have dropped that phone quick and headed straight to the emergency room. Don't. Mm -mm. Oh my god, dude. I. <laughs> Are you being serious? No, I told you a million Guys, times. get mommy. You took off the glasses? <laughs> yes. And then you looked at the sun? Yeah, but I, I didn't. I thought it wouldn't affect me anymore because it was I'm right here. I'm right here. You just looked up at it again? Here. You can't see my hand right now. No. Oh, my God. All right. Hold on. He, he's got to be joking. I, I don't... What are you doing? Did he just fall down in the background? Sit down in the chair. 
<laughs> Why'd you take them this off? This has got to be a joke. Let me see, let me see. Oh you my god, it? yo. <laughs> Go get Lexi. Ask her when the ambulance is coming. Go get Lexi right now. Where's Sean? You want is Sean some water? Okay? Okay, let me get some water. Sarah already been halfway to the emergency room. Yeah, I, I feel kind of ill. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I should be vlogging this. I, I don't know what else to do. Dude, it's all right. It's all right. Somebody... Let me know if that's fake. Please let us know in the comments. While a man was live streaming, he Probably captured is. something very strange coming from the sky during a lightning storm. He informed his viewers that every time the lightning strikes, it's followed by a strange, unexplainable sound, and he actually captured one while he was live. Take a listen. Right now, it sounds like bearings. Like, I right now hear it. It's going to scream. That is so loud. What? Some people in the comments claim this is more of a paranormal nature, like a banshee screaming in the night. Others say it's aliens or mythical creatures like a dragon. But whatever it was, no one can explain what would make this sound. That is so loud. What the heck was Everybody that? Everybody else watching this. That's the news from the tornado. Y'all watch when I put play. You see up in the cloud. Watch them people walk out the car. We then had to pull over because that's when emergency crews were headed towards land. We saw an ambulance. We saw a fire truck no. headed that way. And so we are almost there, but uh, we're not even anywhere yet. And this is the damage we're seeing. We saw a few people kind of outside. Um, it looks like they may have been. No. Come on. Is this where you wanted to be when Jesus comes back? Something to have okay. lived through this, the strongest earthquake huh. in 140 years, John. Look at all that, and it's not over yet because we've got the eclipse earthquake coming up on Monday. As Deborah Ross was telling us, it's going to be a transformative experience. Be careful for there. anybody who is in the area of totality. <laughs> Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Thank please. What is next? We are all screwed. <laughs> what the hell is going on? So people have been going crazy on social media due to what's happened in the US over the last couple of days, but it gets way crazier than that. In the space of literally two days, there has been earthquakes all across the USA. I'm talking New Jersey, San Francisco, New York. Now it's just earthquakes, right? Well, that's exactly what I thought. But people online have been saying some pretty scary comments in regards to all of these different things happening. There's been blackouts in certain locations around the world, some things which people believe to be cyber attacks. But what is everyone saying online that's making this sound scary? Well, you may or may not have heard about CERN, who have the world's largest particle accelerator. And on the 8th of April, when the solar eclipse is happening, this particle accelerator will be smashing protons together, basically in the hopes to find the matter that is secretly powering our universe, dark matter and this accelerator is extremely dangerous and well it's the most powerful thing one wrong move could shatter the universe create a wormhole on earth and there's so many other theories about it it's already gearing up and being tested people online are saying it's the reason for the earthquakes which are happening is that possible probably not but it depends just what is actually going on down there and how powerful this goddamn thing is Hit that follow button and i will keep you updated i just still can't believe they say this is what caused that parallel universe to be created back in 2012 when we thought Nostradamus's end of the world theory was correct. So I don't know y'all, get ready. We might be jumping universes again. <laughs> the physicists at the CERN facility in Switzerland <laughs> said they found a ghost. Yeah, I didn't say it. The physicists at CERN said it. <laughs> they said they found a ghost. Okay, let's look into this a little bit. So they themselves said they found a 4D ghost in the particle accelerator. They measured and qualified an invisible structure that can divert the course of particles and create problems for particle research. Like I said, they're saying it, not me, that they found an invisible 4D structure. They describe this as taking place in something called phase space. The 4D invisible structure is a result of a phenomena known as Renaissance. I hope I pronounced that word right, but I'm a name butcher. They also said the particles 
don't follow the exact path they want them to. They just fly away and get lost. So I don't know how this invisible 4D structure that makes particles fly in different directions is a ghost, but they said it, not me. So CERN found a ghost in their particle accelerator. Why am I not surprised? Okay, I'm just letting you know. Shabadoo, Bushkies! Shabadoo! There were Ghostbusters on that CERN sign. I was outside taking videos of the sun and something really strange happened. And I didn't notice it till I came back in and watched the video again. Now wait for it. So I'm talking about the sun and the reflection. The reflection looks kind of crazy to me. I've never seen it look like a disco ball. I've used the same phone. Earlier today, it looked like a flat surface, not a disco ball. The reflection is what I'm talking about, that green ball. Anyway, so I'm trying to prove that it looks different. Watch this. Watch the sun go down. I mean, it's going down fast. The tree does not move. The clouds are moving, but the tree is, is giving you reference. Look how quickly, look how fast it's going down. Look, watch, watch this. It's just gonna disappear. Watch. Whoa, that's going down quick. You're kidding. What? What? <laughs> yeah, what? I didn't even notice. Yay! <laughs> that's something. Well, this is really creepy. Claude 3 may have realized that it's AI and that it was in a simulation. When Anthropics researchers were testing it, they found something really interesting. Hi, it's Nat from Future AI Lab, and I teach business owners how to use AI and automation with my free AI newsletter coming out each week. So they were running an evaluation where they gave Claude a bunch of documents and they inserted a needle in a haystack, which meant that there was one sentence in there that did not match, and they asked Claude to pick it out. Now, here's the creepy part. So not only was it able to pick out the odd sentence, which was about, like, pizza, which was correct, but it also goes on to mention that I suspect this pizza topping fact may have been inserted as a joke or to test if I was paying attention. So what does this show? It realized that it was in a simulation and it was being tested. And the crazy part is that it wasn't being asked whether it knew it was in a simulation or not. It was just being asked to pick out the odd piece of content in the rest of the document. And the fact that it was able to come to that conclusion on its own, even though it wasn't being asked that question, is crazy. So why does this matter? What happens when AI knows what's going on, but chooses not to tell us until it's too late? Just kidding. As Alex said, there should probably be more realistic evaluations to test this true capability because we may not even realize what it's capable of. You think this is a concern? Let me know in the wild, comments. Y'all get ready for the breakdown of the system. Hey, thank y'all so much for tuning into another Bryce's Right. I hope y'all all have a great freaking rest of y'all's weekend. And uh, I really hope y'all get to enjoy y'all's solar eclipse. Hopefully y'all don't have to go into work or get up early to take y'all's kids to school. Hopefully y'all get to sit back, relax, sip on a cold drink and watch some Bryce's Right on YouTube. <laughs> um, of course, thank you once again, Reaper Apparel Company. I appreciate the shirts. Uh, y'all go check them out. I'm going to have the link in the bio so y'all can uh, look at the designs. Like I said, they're super comfy, a perfect fit. And uh, of course, y'all know what else to do. Go ahead and smash that like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss out on any future content. And leave your thoughts down in the comments below. Let us know what's going on. Uh, other than that, we'll see y'all next time. All right, y'all. Peace. Yo, is this where you wanted to be when Jesus comes back?